All right, everyone, welcome to the official Smurf Cup cast. Uh, I'm Thomas Mengozi, aka G Geek, and I welcome you for Smurf's Cup Canyon number 357. Let's actually switch to this in game scene right here. So, we're gonna have a little bit of a less crowded edition this time around. Some people do have not answered the call for various reasons. One of them is Haxa, currently uh, on vacation, so we wish him, uh, I wish him uh, to have a very good trip. Uh, Ender unfortunately won't be able to make it, so will Maxi, and so will our long, our streak winner, Cloud, the man who won five Smurf Cups in a row, is not able to make it for this edition, so we're guaranteed to have a new winner, but whose is it gonna be? This is gonna be the whole suspense. So, for those of you who don't know what the Smurf Cup is, here's our little quick rundown once again. So here we go, the competition is played in rounds mode over the course of seven maps. The map is won when the, once a player reaches a points tally of 180 points or more. All the points scored by all the players are tallied up for the final rankings, and the player with the most points wins the 6,000 planets share of the 20,000 planets that are at stake in each Smurf Cup. So, Second uh, Smurf Cup of the month of June. We still got the same uh, map rotation for the entire month. We're gonna start out then with Aeon Prime by Adjo. Moving on then to Grand Focus from Nordplay and Ibo. Third map will be Amnesia by Revols. Whilst the halfway map will be Drive by Stalking from Butifara. Moving on then to Anoya by Racho. The second to last map will be the the Elevator by Zombak, and closing off the map is the map you see currently on screen, Mookbark from Ibo. So, let's actually go through some of the players and uh, get out of this Camp 7 real quick. There it is. So, we do have a few players returning, so as I said, it's not going to be as populated as uh, previous Smurf Cups have been, uh, and some of the key players will be out of contention. They could not make their way to the Smurf Cup, so... They're really unfortunate for them, but yeah, we're, this is a guarantee of a new winner. Cloud has won the last five Smurf Cups in a row, all the way back in towards the end of April. He has actually won Smurf Cup number 352. Yeah, 352, there you go. Me getting my math right, guys. Anyway, so, along with the people that are actually going to make it are Larence, one of the close contenders from the last few Smurf Cups. From uh, the main team, Hot Boys, currently engaged in, uh, currently entered in SCL CEP Season 5 as part of Team Pampa Jabat, along with a few other teammates. Then, going further down the table, we got Butifara, the maker of Drive By Stalking, and a few other great maps that were already played in Smurf Cups. Uh, who's gonna play on home ground at the midway through? Uh, Butifara from Uruguay. Then we got Ivo, a uh, map maker uh, responsible for two of the maps, or one map and a half of uh, what happened. Norplay's map, he collaborated with Norplay's map and also submitted Mookbark, which we're playing this month. And he's also one of the administrators of Mania Exchange. Moving on them uh, are, we see AD Racing's Fat Kid, one of the, uh, one of the uh, teams that are entered in the SCLC EP's Open League, and who actually came the cl out the clear winner of that league with 222 points at the end of the group stage. He's going to also be contending the qualification final for the, uh, of the C Season 5 of CEP on June 16th, along with seven other teams. The goal for them is going to be to grab a spot for the grand, one of the four spots that are up for grabs for the grand final. Moving on then to Suron, one of the other big contenders to actually look after for this Smurf Cup. Now that Cloud is out of the way, he will have uh, just a battle with Larence to worry about in order to actually win. Then we uh, are moving further, we are seeing Mini Beanie making a return. Uh, the guy who fought beautifully in Smurf Cup 353 with the uh, with the guys in, uh, further up the field. And unfortunately, it all kind of unraveled after that for, uh, for the finished driver. He was not able to really consistently score points to be of any challenge for the leaders. Then moving on to the Smurf, uh, Smurf members, we already touched on Ivo. We also got Lex, one of the well, lesser scale is a bit of a harsh word, but he is one of the newer, uh, one of the more novice players of ca uh, of Canon, and he's been making some steady progress over the course of the course of the last uh, few events that he made. Uh, let's actually pull up the rankings. I'm tripling up the rankings of, Smurf, of the last Smurf Cup that was played. He actually finished in 16th place with 143 points last week, so he's definitely making progress, and I look forward to see what he can pull out next. 
Next up, we can actually find... Let's see. We also got Procoli moving... Uh, he, uh, participating this week. Member of Team Smurf and One, who's also going to duke it out next Sunday. Not... Uh, next Sunday for a potential spot in the Grand Final of CEP Season 5. Also, we got Meister CZ from Team Lincoln, one of the regulars of the Smurf Cup. Also, we got Multi from Team DAR, another regular of Canyon. And, and we also got React from Smurf. And so far, this seems to be the fair amount of play, the only amount of players that we have. Uh, a few other players might join midway through, uh, uh, just before the cup starts. So we're just going to wait a little bit and see what the final player's tally is going to look like. I'll be right back. And we're back. I just had to close my door really quickly. Uh, I'm going to also change camera really quick. Oh, shit. Um, sorry. A voluntary scene change. Hold on. Alright, I'll consider the proposition, um, Chaos Gamers. Uh, or atwitch.com, rather. So, anyway, those are gonna be... The players, and yeah, we're 30 seconds away from the beginning of... The actual Smurf Cup. Let's actually see if I can actually change the camera angles. Now we're gonna have to do this the manual way. There we go. All right, sorry, sorry about this, guys. That was a little bit of a of a hairy moment. I forgot that one of my binds is to uh, do the camera. So, warm up is done, and now we're about to start Snarf Cup number three hundred and fifty-seven. A bit of a less crowded edition, as previously talked of, uh, talked over. In the beginning of this cast, as we see uh, other players pumping, uh, I'm actually just gonna do something really quick. There you go. Shouldn't have any notifications now. Mapped one out of seven, and we see actually Yalmer or Zola the Zehond making his way into the server at the last moment. So we got Zolita Zeon, the man who actually saved Team Smurfin 3 from, you know, actually managed to get Team Smurfin 3 into the qualification final of SCLCEP. So Smurf Team Smurfin 3, the team that I'm actually uh, actually a part of, will be contesting that final, that qualification final last next week on June the 16th for a potential spot at the grand final. We're not really sure what our chances are, but we're gonna give it our all, that's for sure. So, with the camera sorted out, we're gonna be able to see what everything is all about. So, Suram and Lagans, the definite favorites. Fat Kid, one, he may be the one to watch. As for other point scorers, it will be interesting to see what Ibo well, has to offer. He could, he's really hungry for points in the top ten. Points for the top ten are definitely up for grabs round there. So, everybody finishing their warm up round, and we're about to see what everything is about. So. Warm up is done, and here we go. We are about to start map one. Aeon Prime by Ajo with the world record held by Cloud with a 46.391, and we're actually going to be following Suram. Also, quick check back to the scoreboard. So, Suram having a bit of a slow start. Uh, Fat Kid actually clipping the wall and thus losing a lot of speed after the first checkpoint. It's Broccoli, Larenz, Butifara, Suram, and so Zehond. Suram overtaking Broccoli for the lead. Nice and tidy lines from Suram, carrying a lot of momentum. Larenz trying to put up a fight with him. And meanwhile behind, Butifara and Mini Beanie battling over P3 with Mini Beanie being tug and war. And React also getting a little bit in the mix as we can actually spectate React. But, uh, actually, let's spectate Butifara. He must have made a mistake. And there's also a full stopping in there. I don't, I don't know who that was. I'm afraid that was uh, Mini Beanie, unfortunately. But as we go back, 
towards the lead. He teases the Suram, wins it. It's Suram, Larence, React, Broccoli, Fat Kid, Butifara, Ibo, and Seven completes your top eight. Mini Bini finishes the round. He must be pretty disappointed with himself after such a good battle with lead. And Lex finishes in P14. And a new Dedimania record for Suram with a 46.512. He's still a little bit of a ways away from the world record currently held by Cloud, which is a 46.391. All right, so here we go. Let's follow Suram once again for this round. So Suram taking an early lead after round one. Lex going a little bit wide. People not managing to keep it off the wall. It's Fat Kid, Procoli, Suram, Larens, and Botifar. We have five after set point one. Suram overtaking everyone, including Fat Kid for the lead. Now onto the platform section. Transitioning onto the tarmac. Everybody getting it nice and smooth. Now onto the U-turn. Nice line at the end of the first apex and good second apex as well from Suram who retains the lead. Let's actually try to follow someone who's a little bit further behind. Larence battling with Fatkid for P2. Fatkid making a small mistake and lets Larence through. It's going to be over the next couple of corners that everything is going to potentially change. Larence is a little bit too far away for, to put an attack on Suram. So it's Suram, Larence, Fatkid, Mini Beanie, Broccoli, React 7, and Multi for, your, for round 2. Everybody else finishing the round, including Zolita Zahond and Lex. MDF uh, unfortunately seemed to have had a respawn as he's all the way back there, but he will be able to finish the round in time and will be finishing in P17. So, after two rounds, 100 points for Suram gives... It means that he extends his lead over Larens. He's got now 10, a 10 points buffer between him and second place. Fatkid then follows on 77 points, 75 points then gives React 4th place, and Ace who's just one point in front of Procoli. Following Larence for this round, Yelmer going it towards the wall and losing a lot of momentum being taken away from the racing line. React, Suram, Larence, Mini, Beanie, and Procoli battling with each other. The top four bunched up right there, Procoli making a mistake, and that could and that's the end of it for end of the challenge for that man. Suram in front of Larence, then Mini, Beanie, React, and Butifara for your top five. Let's actually... He trying to follow Fatkid a little bit. He was a little bit further behind. We're taking Butifara for P5, trying to catch on the top four battle with Mini Beanie, trying to potentially spring up a surprise, battling with React for P3. React with a somewhat mo more momentum. It's going to be over the final couple of corners. We're at, in the lead, there could be a swap. Suram and Larent battling with each other. Suram manages to keep the head. And it's, it's, so it's Suram finishing first ahead of Larent. React, Mini Beanie, Fatkid, Seven, Butifara, and Ibo. Lex finishing the round and overtaking one of the contenders to finish in P15. Fame finishing in P17. And that is it for round 3. So, Suram, 150 points. Larence, 135. Already a 15 point buffer. However small, it is actually a pretty good margin. So, 150, 135, 116, 113, and 96 are your top. Five points tally. Only 30 points needed by this man, Suram, to close off the map. Fat Kid with a somewhat tight line. He does not really get it. Well, he was a really shallow at corner entry. Morty actually he's springing up a surprise and getting the whole shot after CP1, but he's progressively falling back down the field, so we're not going to see him. It's Larenz, Procoli, and Suram battling for the top three positions. Larenz in the lead so far. Procoli getting a little bit wide, maybe trying to get a bit more momentum. Suram overtaking both of them, making short work of Larenz with a much better line through the U turn. And as we follow some of the chasers, Fat Kid actually having made a huge mistake, dropped even behind Lex. That must be somewhere in the neighborhood of 15. There you go, 16th position. Meanwhile, we are going to try to get back to, to the lead with Larence and Suram. Suram is going to save it, and it's going to be a clean sweep for Suram, who collects the full 200 points for four round wins. So it's Suram, Larence, React, Ibo, Multi, Mini Bini, Butifara, and Broccoli for your top eight of round four. MDF coming along to finishing P16. As far as for Smurf goes, we see Lex finishing in P14, Zayhorn in P15, Ibo actually finishing in P4, Fame finishing in P17 as well. And here we go then, 204 points. This is 180 and it is Suram who takes map 1. We will be checking the full standings after the map switch.
So there we go. After map one, then Suram in front with 200 points. Points. Then second is Laretz on 180. React is third with 157. Fat Kid fourth with 137. And completing the top five is Mini Beanie with 130. Eyeball then finish. No, then follows in sixth with 128. Seventh is Porkerly with 126. Seven is eighth with 124. Eighth. So, Bultifara 9th with 122, and completing the top 10 is Multi on 118. Following them from 11th to 17th is, is 56k Morty, Zayhond, Meister CZ, Lex, MDF, Uniben, and Fame. So, on to map 2, which is Grand Focus is from Norplay in collaboration with Ibo. One of the faster, flowier maps of this particular map pack for, for the month of June. And the world record is currently held by Cloud with a 46.195. Everybody finishing their warm up as we speak. A pretty tricky final corner, a sequence of corners with the right one with the final corner needed to be drifted, and it is really difficult to keep the contact patch with the road as you go over the hill. It is really common to actually overcook it and end up sent and sent and be sent flying over the finish. So, warm up is done, and we're actually going to be following. Let's see, who can we follow? We're going to be following Mini Beanie for this round. Oh, here we go, the start downhill. Everybody going for the drift strat, Mini Beanie. Not getting the whole shot, it's going to be Zeholm who's going to have that honor, but he's going to be falling back as he had a bit of a wide line. So, so far it's Fat Kid, Larenz, Suram, Mini Beanie, Procoli for the top five, and Ibo trying to get into the mix, but he's dropped a little bit further back. Everybody making the jump pretty safely. Mini Beanie, B4, waiting for someone to make a mistake. Suram and Fatkid battling over the lead for now. Larenz trying to get it in the mix. He probably could be overtaking Suram for P2. Yes, he does. But Suram is giving, he's not giving up without a fight. Suram now battling for the lead with, with Fatkid. Mini Beanie with Larenz in P3. And Larenz seems to have made a mistake. So now it's Mini Beanie through. Suram is in the lead through the final sequence of corners. On to the final corner. It's going to be a battle to the line. But no, Suram has enough of a buffer. So it is Suram first in front of Fat Kid, Mini Beanie, Procoli, Larenz, Ivo, React, and Multi. Butifara coming round to finish in P15. Lex finished in P13 in front of Uniben. Butifara actually BM... No, actually finished in P15. I thought he would drop the place to fame by stopping in front of the finish line, MDF finishing last. So then, Suram once again off to a good start with a full 50 points for a round win. Let's actually follow Fat Kid for this round. Everybody getting for, getting for the drift strap once again. Someone actually clipped the wall. Well, I suspect that it was Ibo. Don't quote me on that though. So, Laren, Suram, Fat Kid, Procoli, and Multi for your top five. Top 4 battle right there. Larenz, Suram, Procoli, and Fat Kid. Procoli getting a little bit wide, allowing Fat Kid through to P3. Fat Kid now making ground on Larenz. On to this, this particular right-hander, and Larenz doesn't really get it right. Fat Kid making a lot more momentum and making short work of him to go into P2. Now he's gonna have to try and catch the Norwegian driver, Suram, for the lead. On to the final corners we go. Through the jump. A bit of an odd line there for Fat Kid. He's gonna suffer, he goes wide on the right-hander and he glitches the wall and he le lands Larenz and Procoli through, so he jumps down to P4 in the end. Suram, Larenz, Procoli, Fat Kid, Multi, Seven, React, and... Whoa. Who is this? Road Cap... Oh, no. No. Road Capta. Uh, are your top eight. Holy crap, that was a holy hell name to read. I w I'm really sorry guys, my brain failed to comprehend that. Anyway, so Suram, 2 out of 2, 100 points for him. Fat Kid still in 2nd place, but with 83 points, just 2 points in front of Larenz. Then falls Procoli on 79 points, and Multi rounds out the top 5 with 66 points. With Fat Kid once again through the start, 7 gets the whole shot, but will actually drop further down the field as he had the wrong line. So it is Procoli, Fat Kid, Suram, Larenz once again, and Multi again in the top 5. He's trying to get some valuable points through there. Fat Kid battling with Larenz for P2, Procoli getting into the mix as well. Broccoli battling with Fat Kid for P2 now. And it seems as though Fat Kid has a better line and manages to go through. Mini Bini making a resurgence and moving up into the battle for P3. Let's actually try to follow him a bit. If I can find him. Mini Bini, there he is. A little bit further to. A little bit too far away to actually make an attack on the top two. But he seems like his top three place is safe. 
And so it is Suram, Fat Kid, Mini Bitty, Butifara. No, yeah, Butifara finishing in P4. Then follows Zayhond, Multi, Ibo, and React. Larent having made a huge mistake. He was in the contention for the top three positions. And in the end, a huge mistake forced him to respawn and finish in P15 behind Lex. Broccoli Host having made a huge mistake will finish 17th and last this round. So, Suram again, 150 points, gives him the lead, then follows Fatkid on 128. It then multi jumps everyone to P, jumps Larence to P3 with 100 points. Larence is just 3 points back, so he couldn't make a comeback, and then React is fifth with 94. Mini Bini getting the whole shot by dropping a little bit further back. So far, Suram, Fatkid, Broccoli, Larence, and Mini Bini for your top 5. Larence with carrying a lot more momentum. Butifara overtaking Mini Bini for the benefit of P5, but Mini Bini is not having any of it, and even Roth Captain. Moving into trying to move it into battle, but unfortunately it was too late. But Crocoli making a mistake and thus dropping back down to P5, allowing Mini Bini through to P4. And Mini Bini potentially making short work of Fat Kid and Larence. Is he a little bit greedy? We're gonna see. Larence and Fat Kid battling over each other for P2. Through the final corners. Mini Bini with a bit of an odd line as well. He goes somewhat wide, battling with Larence for P3. It's gonna be over the line, though. No. So it's a Suram, Fat Kid, Larence, Mini Bini, Procoli, Multi. 7 and react for your top 8 of round 4 and with this it is another clean sweep for Suram if the full 200 points gives them map number 2 in front of Fat Kid who's gonna score 45 points and thus take his points tally to 183 Fame making donuts confident that he will not be able to make it to the finish and so, the round ends, and the final points tally for this map is as follows. 200 points for Suran gets the WAP win, 173 points for Fat Kid, and 138 points for Larence completes the top 3. Multi missing out by just 4 points of the top, uh, on the top 3 position. Suran first, then on 400 points, then follows Larence on 318. Fat Kid is 3rd on 310, React 4th on 281, and Procoli is 5th, completing the top 5 with 255. We're gonna check the standings right after the map switch. So then, after two maps, Suram is in front with 400 points. Uh, points. Four map, eight round wins, two, 400 points for him. Then comes Larens in second place with 318 points. Eight points in front of Fatkid in third with 310. Fourth is React with 281 and completing the top five is Procoli with 255 points. Following then in sixth is Multi with 252. Mini Bini is just two points behind in P7. Then in eighth place we've got not Ibo, sorry, with 246 points. Ninth is 7 with 240. And Zelda Zayhom finishes in P... Uh, is rounding out the top 10 with 202 points. From 11th to 18th, from the, in that order, are 56k Morty, Butifara, Meister CZ, Lex, MDF, Uni... Uh, F, Ban, Fame, and Roadcaptor. So, moving on to the third map then. Amnesia by Revolts. This is where things start to get a little bit more technical than the first two maps. Still a rather flowy map nonetheless, and uh, the record currently held by Cloud with a 57.606. And it seems that though we can, well, seeing, judging from the warm up, we may expect a few mistakes to happen even among the top guys. I mean, we've seen Larence fail pretty dramatically in the, in the second round, and uh, Actually dropped the up a few vital points that allow Multi to actually have a chance of fighting for P3 in that particular map. Anyway, so we're gonna be following Zoleta so home for that particular round. And yeah, warm-up is over. Map 3, Amnesia, about to start. So following Zoleta home through the start, one car staying at the start, and I think it must be Mini Beanie judging by the livery. Not sure though. Oh, someone having a full stop pick at right there. That must be painful. I didn't actually see whose it was. So, so far, Suram in the lead. Needs a little on down in P10. He's trying to get a mounted challenge, though. So, it's Suram, Larence, Fat Kid, Butifara, Seven, Procoli. Then we got Multi and Zayhon battling over each other to try and stay in the top 10 and maybe have a relevance for the top three positions. But let's actually try to switch over to one of the guys in the lead. Let's actually try to follow Mini Beanie. Uh, he had a bit of a... Bit of a shitty start, so th maybe that was uh, over for him. So, Larence so far in the lead. 
two tents in front of Suram. No, actually, Suram having made a mistake, so he's all even been overtaken by Fat Kid. Let's actually f spectate him. Fat Kid trying to make some ground on Larenz, but it's not going to be enough. Only one corner to go, and Larenz sees as though he's going to have it in the back. So Larenz first in front of Fat Kid, Suram, Ibo, Procoli, Road Captor, 56k Morty, and 7. React finishing in P12, Lex 11th, and Yalmer, or Zolidazion, finishes in the top 10. Meanwhile, Mini Bini is... Uh, it is going to be a tight fit, but he might... No, he's he's going to make it to the finish. And fin grab the points for P or lowly P17, with one second to spare. There it is. So, after round one, it is not Siram, but Larenz, who actually takes the lead of the map this time. And we're going to following, be following Suram over the start. Strong with a bit of an inside line, a little bit of a cut on the grass there. That's going to give him a little bit of the advantage against Larenz. He gets the whole shot against him. So it's Suram, Larenz, React, Multi, and Fat Kid. Multi actually dropping back in, back in favor of seven. And everything is, seems to be really changing. Nip and tuck. Only two tenths separate the top five. Let's actually try to switch from Fat Kid here. Fat Kid battling with Larenz for P2. Fat Kid gets the advantage over the U-turn, but much more momentum from Larenz at the exit. Is a lot oh and Suram with a huge mistake, a huge full stop pick on this part, and that's gonna drop him all the way down the field. He gets Tom Ben gets right past him. Oh, oh Ben actually failing as well. And as we see the standings, he drops down to P14. That's one round thrown away from Suram. He could have been leading this one and get got himself back into shape, but it looks as though it will not be, and it is gonna be a second round win for Larenz in this map. So it's Larenz, Fat Kid, Mini Bini, Procolo. Procolo, Procoli, React, Broadcapte, Multi, and Ibo, your top 8. MDF coming around to finishing P13, just in front of Suram. Just uh, behind Suram, sorry. 7 finishing in P14. P15 is Meister CZ, then following are Ben and Lex, if I'm not mistaken. No, Fame. Fame finishes in P16, and Ben, it finished in P17. There you go. So, Larenz, 100 points in first. In, in 10 points in front of Fat Kid in second with 90 points. Then third is Broccoli on 74. 68 points. Then fourth equal are Ibo and Road Captain on 68. Following Larenz for this round. As we see Suram getting the whole shot once again. But he choked pretty heavily on the you know the last round. So let's see if that happens again. Suram and React battling in front, in for the lead. Larenz making short work of React and moving back into the battle for the lead against Suram. Suram with a little bit less momentum than Larenz. He could concede that position through the U-turn. And it looks as though Larenz has got much better momentum this time round. Suram does not get... Oh, and full stopping this one on, on the behalf of Larenz, and so he drops down the order after Suram. Larenz gets hit by the Spectator Curse, and down to P12 he goes. Meanwhile, let's start really trying to fall, spectate Suram. He's not putting a foot wrong right now. Mini Bini, 6 tenths back. He's looking to secure P2. A lot of mistakes have been made. An 8 tenths of a second gap between Suram and Mini Bini, and 1.5 seconds between 7 and Suram. And there we go. Suram finishes first in front of Mini Beanie, Seven, Fat Kid, Multi, Zayhorn, Ibo, and Road Captive. Mi uh, Mini Beanie finishing a full second behind Suram. React coming round to finishing P18 and last. He must have had an unfortunate mistake that we didn't see. And so. The points table has changed. Fat Kid with a new nickname the leader with 128 points. 8 points in front of Larenz in second. Then Suram coming back into the fight with 113 points. And then again, fourth equal on 100 points are Eyeball and Mini Beanie this time. Following him through the first couple of corners as we see 7 react Fat Kid and Suram. Oh, Suram with a bit of a bug and now he drops down the order. That might be sure. That's surely going to be map challenge over for Suram. Larenz taking a little Taking the lead and taking, ch taking charge in front of Fat Kid and Mini Bini battling for P2. And Mini Bini makes a bit of a mistake. He's going to drop a few you know, for a few places. Let's actually follow some of the guys further down the pack. We got Ibo trying to make short of Rogue Capta in the 911 RSR. Ibo moving up to P4 and trying to catch his teammate React for P3. And he seems as though he's a bit too far away to actually plan an attack and uh, get away with third place or he actually 
may be able to do something in the final corner. Re React is starting to gray out, but no. Larence for the Fat Kid, React, Ibo, World Captain, Surom, Zehold, and Mini Bidi, your top eight. Larence coming back into the fight then against Fat Kid. Hit the Fat Kid only having 173 points, so we're gonna have one more round, which would be the decider, unless we get a tie. <laughs> We also got a few other players jo joining into um, joining into the fray. Hiling 55 and let's say it, Hiling Paint. There you go. So Fat Kid first on 173 points, three points in front of Larence on 170, then Suram third on 147, 148 points gives Ibo fourth, and fifth place goes to Cap World Captain with 134. So far, Suram seems to have got the whole shot once again, but the whole shots don't mean anything if you don't manage to get to the end safely. Let's see how the Norwegian fares this time around. Suram in front of Larence, Mini Bini, React, and Zeholmd. Onto the U turn we go. Oh, a bit of a late drift initiated by Suram. That's going to allow someone through. And it's Mini Bini who rises to the challenge and kicks over the lead. Larence trying to take advantage as well. And that's going to be a battle between these three guys for the lead now. Suram taking over the lead with just 10. Thousands of a second. Suram now pulling a little bit of a gap between him and Larence. Larence trying to take the fight with much more aggressive cornering, but I don't know if it's going to pan out. Oh, Larence with much more momentum than Suram. He's going to overtake him before the last turn and thus ensure himself, or maybe not. Suram overtakes him with and takes the win with 11 thousandths of a second left. So Suram, Larence, Fatkit, Mini Bini, React, Seven, Morty, and Multi, your top eight. A really great finish to this round. And it looks as though, with the standings that they are, Larence is going to take over Fat Kid, Kid's lead and actually win map number three. Yes, it is. Just a four point difference was needed, and there you go. For one single point, Larence takes the map. Larence wins with 215 points in front of Fat Kid on 214, and Suram on 197. Suram still first with 597 points, Larence second on 533, Fat Kid third on 524, React fourth on 429, and Mini Mini calls as a top five with 418. Right after the map switch, we're checking the results. So then, Suram still in front with 597 points to his account. Second then is Larence with 533 points. Top three is Fat Kid with 524 points. Fourth is React with 429. And completing the top five is Mini Bini with 418. Ibo is sixth with 410. Seventh is Procoli with 400. Multi eighth with 498. Sorry a little bit for the pauses. Ninth is seven with 489, and closing the top ten is Solidus Ahond with 400 with 342. Sorry, from 11th to 19th downwards is 46k Morty, Lex, Meister CZ, MDF, Rodkapte, Uniben, Butifara, Fame, and Highlink 55. So. Speaking of Booty, we actually just briefly mentioned Butifara, and we're now driving on his map. We're already halfway through the Smurf Cup, so this is Drive-By Stalking, a, dry, a map made by Butifara that gives a lot of Trackmania Turbo vibes in terms of the scenery, of the signs that are used, the types of corners that you see, the types of sections that you actually get. It is really... It has such a vibe to it. It has such a Trackmania Turbo vibe, and it's really cool to see that kind of vibe of uh, map making into Trackmania 2. So the record here is held once again by Cloud with a 50.312. And we're going to be actually specking someone else. We're going to be specking Broccoli for the start of the next round. Broccoli, having not had the best of runs, he's still in the running for the top 10 finish, finish in this occasion. But um, yeah, he must have uh, dreamed of better, such as fighting for the lead. Anyway, here we go then, map start, map number four, pulling Procoli for this round with a helicopter drop into the quarter pipe and thus start the map. And there are actually a lot of people failing over the little bridge section there. Zehon gets the whole shot, he might get actually dropped back. So, Larence, Suram, Procoli, Mini Bini, and Butifara, your top five, actor CP2. Procoli with a bunch of line and actually completely over the undercooks it. Morty also making a huge mistake, but 
Turning in a bit too early, he clicks as a container and thus Broccoli is down to P12. Let's actually try to get with some of the guys in the field. Fat Kid battling with Mini Beanie for the benefit of P2. Mini Beanie still in front with 30 thousandths of a second of and in front, Suram still pulling ahead clear. It seems as though we have lost Larenz. He must have had a made a stake. And there we go. We see him flipping. And he's going to be finishing dead last for sure. Anyways, back to the front now. Suram over the finish. And he wins the round. So it's Suram, Fat Kid, Mini Beanie, Ibo, Procoli, Seven, Lex, and Zehon. Lex making his first appearance in the top eight today. And it seems as though there was a huge gap between the first and between the first and eighth place so you can see a seven second gap between first and eighth this is going to be a map of many mistakes as we makes and many mistakes even made by some of the good guys such as larenz who unfortunately flipped over so serum takes an early lead in front of fake mini bini ibo and broccoli following him for this round Okay, pe man most people managing to go safely through. Someone getting really sh getting a really shallow entry at the checkpoint. He's going to be somewhat deserved then. So, Larian's Fat gets through on Broccoli. Reactor top 5 after CP2. And it seems as though someone have been may have been glitching. And Mini Bini so far in the top 5. Suram in P4, Broccoli P3, Larian's and Fat get battling over the lead now. Onto the bank turn and it seems as though a lot... No, the lines are equal for Fat Kid and Larian's who stay... And their position, Procoli making a mistake, clipping the inside of the checkpoint and thus dropping down places to P5, allowing both Suram and Mini Bini through to P3 and P4 respectively. Suram may be trying to catch the, catch the two guys in front and potentially spring a surprise. Onto the final corner we go, onto the platform jump. Oh, Fat with a huge mistake and thus that's going to be a huge throwaway for him. Larenz finishes in front of Suram, Procoli, Mini Bini, Zehond, 56k Morty, Ibo and Road Kapta for your top 8, but Fat Kid must be kicking over himself, throwing away valuable points like this. There you go, you can see him in the chat riding his miscontent. Lex not able to finish the round, unfortunately, so after that stellar performance in round 1, he's not going to be able to repeat that. And Fat Kid collects a lowly 16 points and thus gets demoted down to P7 in the standings. So far, Suram still in front with 95 points in front of Mini Bini on 79. Procoli is third on 77. Larenz is fourth on 74. And Ibo clinches the top five on, th on 70 points. And so the first five, and so the P through two to P5 is less, uh, have less than 10 points between them. So this is going to be an exciting battle for P2. Meanwhile, as we see Mini Bini trying to put up a fight to the lead, Larenz in front of Mini Bini, Procoli, Fat Kid, and React. Surum now getting into the mix for P3. He gets the whole shot against Mini Bini, but Mini Bini with a better turn. Maybe even overtaking Procoli in the process. No, actually, Surum with a little bit of a kick now manages to get more momentum and overtake. Potentially Mini Bini for P3. There he goes. He also makes short work of Procoli to move up into P2. Larenz with a mistake, and that's probably going to be a battle for the lead. A three way scrap for the lead right there. So here we go. Suram now pulling away from Larenz. Larenz going back into the inside of the corner over the jump. He's going to be over the line. Larenz wins it. So it's Larenz, Suram, Procoli, Mini Bini, React, Ibo, Zoli the Zihon, and Fat Kid, your top eight for round three. Oh boy. That battle for the lead right there in this round was. It was pretty, it was pretty tense. All the way to the final corner. So, Highlink 55, unfortunately, missing the jump and will not be able to finish. Meister sees it finishing in P15 and Uniben finishing in P16. But so far, it seems as though the standing state and Lachens actually moves back up to P2. So, 140 points is going to give Suram the lead. Then Larenz comes in second with 124, Procoli third at 118, at one point in front of Mini Bini, and we actually saw a huge mistake, I didn't actually see the name. So Larenz in front of Procoli and Suram, Fat Kid and React complete the top 5. Suram actually making short work of Procoli and Larenz, potentially overtaking them after this jump, but no, Larenz actually making a huge, huge gap and Procoli making a huge mistake. Larenz as well! Or was it a voluntarily, you know, voluntary kind of, um... Trajectory change, I don't know, but Sur oh, also Suram kind of choking as well, allowing Fat Kid over into the lead. Let's actually try to spectate Fat Kid. He's going to try to repay for, for his mistake and try to get as much points on board as he can. He's out of the fight for the map win right there. 
In fact, it seems as though he has it under control, but we have to see follow a resurgence maybe from Suram in the final corners over the jump. Oh, Suram now with the full stop pick. It was Fatgate a few rounds ago, not Suram who makes the huge mistake. And thus, Fatgate actually takes the win of the map of the of the round. So, Fatgate in front of Larence, Multi, Ibel, Zayn, the Zayhon, Mini, Bini, MDF, and Road Captor, your top eight. Hello, Cloud. You don't don't worry about it, man. Uh, don't worry about it. You you missed uh, basically. Surum took the first two maps, and Larence took uh, map th number three. So Aeon Prime was Surum's. Grand Focus was Surum's, and uh, the third map was yeah. Amnesia was Larence's. So far, it is Surum in the lead. 169 points versus 158. Larence takes the lead from Surum, and we have one more round to go. 142 equal, points equal. Oh, and someone made a mistake. I don't know who that is. Ibo seems to be somewhat safe. Suram again getting the whole shot. He gets into the lead once again in front of Larens, Fat Kid, Mini Bini, and Procoli. Sorry if I'm specking those guys a lot, but this is the battle for the lead right there. Procoli trying to benefit, uh, trying to overtake Fat Kid and Suram getting back into the mix. Suram having made a mistake, dropping down to P5. Larens in the lead now in front of Mini Bini and Fat Kid who are battling for P2. Fat Kid with a lot more speed and Mini Bini actually choking a little bit in the vine corner. And loses a lot of momentum and drops down to P5. Larens in front of Fat Kid and Suram right now. Broccoli maybe taking the fight to Suram and Fat Kid. Uh, Suram with a much better speed, but he touches the wall. He touches the wall, so that's gonna steal the deal for Suram. And Larence is gonna go through, and Broccoli actually making a mistake and flipping over. Larence went to the round in front of Fat Kid, Mini Bini, Suram, Seven, Zayhond, Multi, and Broccoli finishes in eighth after that horrendous flip that we actually saw. And so with this. Map 4 is sealed, and it is the second map that goes in favor of Larence, and he actually is gonna continue to claw that gap back to Suram. Suram started with a full sweep, with a clean sweep of the first 8 rounds. The first 2 maps were his, with a full 400 points to his account. 219 points gets the win, gives Larence the win on the map. Second is Larence on uh, is Suram on 196, and third is Mini Bini on 192. Suram still in the lead. But he's but Larence is dangerously catching up. Fat gets the still in P3, Midi Bini in P4, and Ivo completes the top five. After the map after the map switch, we're gonna check the results. Oh boy. Man, my Mania Planet almost crashed. I'm uh... <laughs> Alright, so Suram in first after after map four. Suram first with 793 points. Larence in second with 752 points. Then third is Fatkid with 710. Mini Bini is to fourth, 100 points behind Fatkid. And completing the top five is Ibo with 580 points. Procoli is sixth with 5, five, uh, 572 points. Seventh is Multi with 553. Eighth is seven with 531. Ninth is Zayhorn with 510. And completing the top 10 is React with 491. From 11th to 19th downwards, are MDF, Lex, Meister CZ, 56k Morty, Road Captain, Ben, Butifara, Fame, and Highlink 55. So moving on to map number five, which is Anoya by Racho. Now, whenever I whenever I hear the word the name Racho, I can only expect flowing momentum-based maps from this mapper and it is again the case here but it is also one of the tech also pretty technical especially that final section it is really, really it is really easy to lose a lot of momentum if you get the line wrong in the you know, in some key sequences of corners the record here is held by my boy my boy sorry by cloud <laughs> With the 46.736 so far, the current daily media is held by Larence with a 47.168, which is four tenths away from the record that Cloud has set over the course of the last Smurf Cup. So, warm up is done, and we're actually going to be following Larence for this round. Let's see. Camera, thank you. So, everybody getting away with this. Drifting turn onto the pipe section, which is one of the peculiarities of this map. Zayhon getting the whole shot, but he's getting a little bit wide, so he's going to drop back a little bit. And so Larence emerges in front of the lead. If he, then Suram battling with him for the lead. And Fat Kid going over as well. Suram with a little bit of a worse line gets the worst of it and drops down to P3. Fat Kid in front of Larence, Suram, Butifara, and Zayhon. After CP4, CP5 now, Fat Kid and Larence still battling with, with each other. 33 thousandths of a second separating these two guys. Fat Kid with a much tighter line at the entry of the corner but Larence with much more momentum he's gonna over 
We potentially take a chance. And Fat Kid with a huge stop pick at the scaffolding there. And that's going to allow Larence through to a safe win. He doesn't have to push. And there you go. Larence wins the round in front of Surum, Butifara, Zehond, Mini Bini, Eyeball, Multi. And 8th place goes to 7. A huge mistake by Fat Kid who finishes down in P9. I mean, he still collects points, but that was a huge blunder that we did not need to see from the from the German driver. He had the line completely wrong at the jump and thus Pat hit the scaffolding pretty hard, coming to a full stop pick, as we call. So, after round one, then Larenz in front of Suram, Butifara, Zehold, and Mini Bini. So, moving on to round two, let's actually follow Zehold for this round. Going for the drift strats. People tend to go wide through there. Through the pipe section. And it is Procoli who gets the whole shot. Fakid with a little bit of an odd line through there. He's going to be dropping a lot of momentum. Larence in front of Suram, Zehond, Butifara and Procoli for the top five. Ibo getting in the mix as well. He could be paddling for the lead right there. Ibo currently in P3 but gets overtaken by Fakid pretty quickly. Fakid carrying a lot more momentum. But he also gets very wide. So he's not going to get any position anytime soon. Suram is now in front of Larence and... Ibo, Larence trying to battle with Suram. Let's actually follow these two guys now. In fact, let's actually follow the chaser, Larence. Maybe overtaking him into the corner. He does so on the momentum. It's going to be over the final couple of corners that everything is decided. And it looks as though Larence might be able to get away with it over the finish line. Oh, with a bit of a dodgy finish for Suram. Larence finishes in front of Suram. Fat Kid, React, React fourth. Mini Bini fifth. Zoli de Seon sixth. Then comes Ibo and... Uh, I think it was Road Acta in P8. Procoli with a little bit of a of a full stop and finishes in P12. No, it was 7 in top 8. I'm sorry. Road Acta finished in P13. MDF P14. Hamster Minotaur P15. And Hunt, unfortunately, joining a little bit late, uh, will not be able to make it to the end. And takes the scaffolding for good measure. So, clean sheet so far for Larence. 100 points, giving the, him the lead over Surom with 90 points in second. And then third equal are Zehon and Minibini with 72. And completing the top five is Fat Kid with 79. Rodak, Rodkapta, and Seven taking the inside line, clipping the apex. They're going to be dropping places. Larence getting the whole shot after CP1 with much tighter lines than Surom through there. So it's Broccoli, Larence, Fat Kid. Mini Beanie and Suram for your top five so far. Procoli now taking over the lead. Suram with a much better line, though. He's going to make short work of him. There he is. Suram now getting over to the lead. Let's actually follow some of the chasers. Mini Beanie sitting in P4 right now, make, waiting for someone to make a mistake. Procoli going for a wider, for a tighter line through there. He goes way wide at the exit, though. That's going to allow both Larence and Suram, as well as Mini Beanie through. Mini Beanie is going to have to fight to retain P3, though. It seems as though Broccoli gets a lot more momentum. Ah, a bit of a wider line through there. And it seems as though Suram in the front has it under control and wins the round. And so Suram finishes in front of Larence, Broccoli, Mini Bini, Fat Kid, Solita Zehond, Ibo, and Seven completes your top eight. Next is going to finish the round, overtaking a few people in the process, finishing in P12. Hunt's having a full stop pick, but he is actually close enough to the finish that he will make it with plenty of with a few seconds to spare. There you go. Two seconds left on the clock, and Hunt finishes in P15. So, after this round, we see a little bit of a shift here. It's not so much the buffer that uh, Larence needed. Now, he's just five points in front of Surom from, for the lead. Mini Bini is third on 110. 106 points gives the Yamur gives Soli to say on fourth. And on 105, just one point behind is Fat Kid. Mini Bini, having made a mistake in the tube section, drops down to P12 immediately. And so far, your lead is Procoli, Larence, Suram, Fat Kid. Fat Kid with a lot of speed loss through there. He's going to be dropping down places as well. He drops down to P10. How unfortunate. And meanwhile, Mini Bini again and come back and. Unfortunately, cl clinching the wall here. Spectator curse, curse, I imagine. So then, let's actually follow the battle for the lead. Suram uh, versus Larence. Suram in front of Larence at the corner. Larence with a bit of a better line, able to carry a little bit more momentum, maybe. Onto the final corner. Larence overtakes Suram. And it's going to be on momentum alone. Suram gets it. Suram in front of Larence. Procoli, Solida Zayon, Seven, Ibo, Mini Bini, and Road Captain completes your top eight. And it looks as though we have a tie. Larence towards 45 points and Suram 40 points. And with cur their current point tally, they're both on the 190. And so we're going to have one more round on map 5, which is going to be the decider.
And so there you see it. 190 points. First e equal, Suram and Narens. It's gonna be the battle to settle the map once and for all, following Suram for this round. Suram with a tidy line, but Larens needs to get a little bit more momentum. Onto the tube section we go, and Suram drops a little bit of speed, and Larens gets the whole shot. Procoli emerges in second place. Let's actually try to follow him for a little bit. Procoli in front of uh, the fat kid, and now, oh, with a bit of a mistake there. Huge mistake, actually. Holy crap, Procoli dropping down a lot of places, dropping him down the legs, and drops down to P12, actually. Larens now over in the lead. Let's actually follow some of the lead battles. Larens, fat kid, Butifara. Zehorn's Ibo actually, and Sura may, having made a mistake, is going to battle over Zehorn, with Zehorn for the benefits of P4. He's going to make short work of these guys though, and it looks as though Larence has made a mistake as well. So it's going to be Suram who takes the win, and his third map. So there we go, Fat Kid rolling to the round, but Suram with 45 points clinches map number 5. Then the rest of the no round finishes. Zehorn, Larens, Butifara, Road Capta, and it looks as though it was 7 in P7 for this matter. No, it was multi in P7, and 7 finishes in P8. And so, after a long battle of 5 rounds, and 5 or even 6 rounds, we've got Suram glitching his first map. So, the first two maps were Suram's, the this next two maps were Larens. Are we gonna see another two maps win streak? for Suram on the next map. 235 points gives Suram the map in front of Larence on 228, and Zehon completes the top 3 with 185. After map 5 then, Suram in first, first creates a little bit of a gap, a gap to Larence, then Fat Kid in third, Mini Bini fourth, and Ibo fifth. Just after the map switch, we'll check the standings. So then, after map 5, Suram is first with 1,090 and 28 points in front of Larens, who's got 980 points, currently sitting in second. Then third place goes to Fat Kid with 891 points, P4 is Mini Bini with 752 points, and P5 is Ibo with 740 points. Sixth is Procoli with 702, Zehorn is seventh with 695, Multi eighth with 689, just two points in front of seven, currently sitting in P9 with six, eight, seven, and rounding up the top ten is Reax with five, two, nine. From eleventh to twentieth downwards are MDF, Lex, Meister CZ, Rogue Capta, 56K Morty, Ben, Butifara, Fame, Their Hunt, and Chapelier. And as far as the other scorers go, we got Minator, uh, Hamster Minator, 21st with 36, six points, and then on 20, uh, 22nd equal with 29 points are Highlink 55 and Gemini. So here we go then. Second to last map is elevated by Zombak, one of the more technical maps of the um, of the map pack for June, with a pretty tricky start that actually got me a few tries to actually understand. And yeah, a few tricky sec uh, yeah, a few very technical sessions sessions make this map somewhat difficult and an appropriate second to last map before Brook Park, which is going to be the closing map from Ibo. The record here held once again by Cloud with a 49.268 with the best Diddy Mania record. Uh, currently held by Andre Fry from THC with a 49.408. So we're going to be following React for this round. So we're going to be a little bit further down the pack, but... Any case, here we go. Map number six. Oh, people already failing the start. They, they, they pulled the me and go, went full on 180 and React having made a mistake and it seems as though he might have retired. So... We actually switched over to Procoli, so it is Suram in front of Larence. Fat Kid making a huge mistake and dropping down places. So it's Suram, Larence, Mini Beanie, Procoli, and Fat Kid for your top five. Procoli overtaking Mini Beanie for P3, and Mini Beanie making a mistake, allowing Procoli through to P3. Suram and Larence, meanwhile, having a battle against themselves for the potential lead of the race. Larence. Still trying to find a way to gain time on Suram, trying to force him to make a mistake. But Suram so far has not put a foot wrong. It seems as though he's got this round of the control. And over the final corner, there's little that Larence could do. And Suram thus takes the round in front of Larens. Fat Kid, Mini Bini over finishing in P4, Procoli fifth. Then I then come Ibo, Butifara, and Zehon, your top eight. FDF finishing in P9, the first top ten finish we've seen of FDF so far. Seven has had a problem, and he is way too far from the finish to actually be able to finish in time. And it seems as though the same goes for Meister CZ, who might have been lost here. And there we go, then. So, 
After round one, Suram in front of Larenz, Fat Kid, Mini Bini, and Procoli. Let's actually follow Larenz for this round. Mini Bini gets the whole shot after CP1, but it seems as though uh, it doesn't really mean that way. Mini Bini actually making a mistake and dropping down a few places. Fat King emerging into the lead in front of React, Suram, Procoli, Larenz, and Procoli also involved in the battle. Fat King now overtaking Suram for the benefit. No, it was he was still in the lead. Sorry. Now Larenz making having much more momentum than Fat King, potentially taking the lead here. Suram now getting into the mix as well. Fat King desperately trying to hang on, but it seems as though he's gonna get overwhelmed by both the Finnish and the Norwegian driver. Laren still having a little bit of an advantage. 28 thousandths of a second in front of Fatgate at the last checkpoint. Fatgate resurging and taking the lead. The f just one corner to go. It's going to be over the line. And it seems as though Larenz might get it. Yeah, Larenz gets it for 24 thousandths of a second from Fatgate. So, Larenz first, Fatgate second. Then comes Suram, Procoli, React, Butifara. Zayhold, and it seems as though it was Multi who finished in, uh, yeah, Multi finished in P8. Seven finishing in P15, and Mini Bini actually having made a mistake. He scored vital points by finishing in P4 last round, uh, um, and yeah, it seems as though he will not be able to score. Yeah, it was a really nice fight for the top th uh, between the top three right there for the round. So then, Larenz takes the lead with 95 points, Suram relegated the second with 91, then Fat Kid is third at 86 points. That's actually trying to follow Suram for this round. All shot is courtesy of Seven, but Seven is actually going to drop back down the order after having the wrong line for the next corner, and it seems that the Suram is going to emerge into the lead. Or actually, or is it? It is Fat Kid who gets the whole shot after CP2, and it is going to be Fat Kid versus Suram for the lead, with Larenz getting thrown into the mix as well. But it seems as though Suram has a much better line through there, a much tidier execution than Fat Kid, and thus is able to retake the lead and pull a gap of a tenth between him and Larenz, who's overtaken Fat Kid for the benefit of P2. And Suram is now going to have to control this. If position stays like this at the end of the round, he retakes the lead by one point. Through the final corner. It seems as though Larenz made a mistake or got overtaken by Fatkid for P3. And Suram gets the round. So Suram in front of Fatkid, Larenz, React, Butifara, Mini Bini, Seven, and Procoli complete your top eight. And so after three rounds, Suram retakes the lead from Larenz. We're gonna see that in the standings and Amster Minator, uh, this is going to be a bit of a tight night. No, it's too tight. He will not be able to finish that round and thus will not score any points. And so, another lead change. This time, Suram reclaiming the lead from Larenz by 5 points. 141 points for Suram, 136 for Larenz. Fat Kid is third on 131. And then, just 2 points apart of P4 and P5. Procoli and Butifara following Suram once again. Procoli gets the whole shot, and he might be relegated a little bit. No, he actually managed to stay in the top 3 fight right there. Fat Kid in front of Suram and Procoli. We're going to see over the whole shot in CP2. And it is Fat Kid who retains the advantage by 11 hundredths of a second. Uh, thousandths of a second. And then Suram overtakes Fat Kid for the lead now. Let's see how the execution goes. Oh, Suram with a much better execution with a bit of an early drift there. So he might have lost any momentum gain right there. And Procoli now rising to the challenge in P2. Actually battling with Fat Kid and Larenz. Larenz and Fatkid overtaking for P2. Oh, and Procoli making a mistake now, so he's gonna drop a few places. Let's actually follow Larenz through. He's gonna try to defend for P2, but Fatkid is actually gonna have a little bit more momentum. Larenz now this time, it is really a bit of a yo-yo between these guys. They're both catching Suram, but it might not be enough. And so Suram clinches the round and the map. Suram in front of Larenz, Fatkid, Zolida Zihon, Ivo, Butifara, Multi, and Seven. Complete your top eight for round number four. And with this, Suram with 191 points wins map number six. We're sensing a bit of a pattern here. Suram wins the first two maps, then Larenz wins the next two maps, and we see the second, see the next two maps, so map five and six, won by Suram. And it seems as though it might be, might be some pretty good chance for Suram to actually win the Smurf Cup and end thus the five win streak that Cloud has initiated all the way back towards the end of April. And so, we move on to the final map with Mookbark. So, Suram wins with 191 points in front of Larenz with 181, and third is Fat Kid with 172. After the map changes, we're gonna check the standings.
And so after map six, going into the final map of the Smurf Cup, Suram is in the lead with 1,219 points. Larens is second with 1,161 points. Then third is Fatke with 1,063 points. Only these three players made it past the 1,000 points barrier. P4 is Ibo with 856. And completing the top five is Mini Vini with 837. Sixth is Broccoli with 832. Seventh is Zehorn with 821. Eighth is Multi with 799. Ninth is 7 with 765, and rounding out the top 10 is Reax with 631. From 11th to 20th downwards is MDF, Lex, Meister CZ, Road Captain, Butifara, 56k Morty, Ben, Fame, Hunt, and Chapelier. And then towards the back, we see 20 see Gemini 21st with 70 points. Then on 53 point then on 53 points, 22nd place goes to Triac248. Then Hamster Minator scored 48 points and, and scores and thus um, classifies himself in P23. And that last with 29 points is Highland 55, but it seems as though he might have late left halfway through the cup and thus will not be scoring any points any further points. So Mook Bark by Ibo, uh, towards the more technical side of things, not necessarily the most difficult map ever, but uh, definitely one of the more technical ones that warranted the, the closing map spot for this particular month. And the record, once again, and as always, held by Cloud with a 45.505, with the current Indy Mania record held by Suram with a 45.698. And so, warm-up for the final map is over, and we're actually going to see if Suram can keep it together. He, every, anything can happen in Trackmania, and it usually does. Let's actually follow Ivo. Oh, Ivo might have a little bit of a late start. Yeah, there it is. Ivo with a bit of a late start and on his own map. That is not really ideal. So anyway, let's get back to the lead. Suram in front of React and... Uh, Fat Kid, Larence in P4, Multi in P5. Larence resurging into the battle for P2 now. Fat Kid still staying safe, but React chomping up the bit and trying to get involved into the battle for the potential lead here. Suram with a bit of a mistake, he touches the wall and thus allows Fat Kid through and potentially other people. And there we go. Just like that from P1 to P5. Fat Kid in front of React, Larence, Broccoli, and Suram completes the top five. So far, Fat Kid seems to have it all under control. Let's actually try to follow Broccoli for this round. React trying to take the fight. It seems as though it is Fat Kid who's gonna win it. Fat Kid in front of Larens, React, Suram, Procoli, Zehond, Mini Mini, and Seven. Complete your top eight. Try two, four, eight, finishing in, in the round. Ivo finishing in P11 after the late start. Everybody else coming to an end with their round. Everybody seems to have finished. So after round one, Fat Kid. It takes the lead from Larens, React, Suram, and Procoli. That's actually trying to follow React for this round. He was the one that took the fight to um He was the one that took the fight to Fat Kid in that round, and he didn't actually get to see it. It seems as though Larens might have made a huge mistake though. And React gets the whole shot after CP2, followed by Procoli, Suram, Seven, and Zehond. It seems as though Larens might have hit the wall or something because we actually saw the finish car getting a little bit further away. There you go. He's dropped out of the fight for the top five for now. Battling with Mini Beanie for the benefit of P7, P6. Door, uh, actually, 7 and Zehorn are also making a huge mistake, and that's going to allow Larens to P5. Now, Larens is going to have to make short work of Ibo to get back to P4 and potentially try to catch the battle for, you know, for the top three here, but it's maybe a little bit too late to do anything. As we see React again battling for the lead with Suram, but Suram is actually having enough of a buffer. And React with a huge mistake drops down lots of places. Suram finishes in front of Procoli, Ibo, Fat Kid, Larence, Mini Bini. React drops down from P2 to P7, and 7 finishes in the top 8. Huge mistake by React towards the end, clipping the inside wall and thus dropping out valuable places. And valuable points as well that were important for the final standings. Terrible shame. And so re and so Suram retakes the lead and is actually sharing the lead with Fat Kid. 88 points both. And then third place is also shared, this time between Procoli and Larence, who are both on 81 points. As we follow React for this round. Larence this time not making any mistake. Remaining in the top battle. Suram then in, f in front of Broccoli, and yeah, this is a really good scrap for the lead right there. Suram, Broccoli, Mini Bini, Larence, and React after CP3. Mini Bini also trying to spring into the mix a few surprises, maybe? Let's see how that pans out. 
It's actually trying to follow Mini Beanie for this round. Mini Beanie dropping a little bit out. He got, got overtaken by React for the benefit of P5. And it seems as though this group is going to be pretty tight. Lagans, uh, no, Suram having a little bit of a buffer though. Let's see how that goes as we suspected him as he goes towards the finish. And there he goes. Suram in front of Fat Kid, Lagans, Broccoli, React, Mini Beanie, Multi, and Zayhon. Actually, P3 to P5 came in in a came in a real pack together across the finish line. That was really interesting to see. BMing not able to make it to the finish. Gemini finishing it in this round. We also got a few players who joined in a little bit late, such as Nixter. All right, after round two, then Suram still in the lead and now in within striking distance of finishing the map. But so does Fat Kid though. It's gonna be all about the finals point standings. Suram first on 138, and then Fat Kid is second on 133, and Lance third on 122. Oh, Butifara making a bit of a mistake. Suram also not having the best of starts. He's all the way down in P6 right now. He's gonna make his re back shortly. Don't worry about that. Lance so far in the lead in battle with React. It's gonna be a change of the lead between these guys in the round. Lance having a little bit of a wall touch. He doesn't seem to have lost too much momentum though, or he has had a pretty safe buffer. Suram, there he goes, waiting to pounce, and does goes over to P2. Battling with Arens now to try and keep P2. React with a lot of mistakes, grinding the inside wall, and thus that's gonna allow Suram to the lead. Fat Kid also resurging from the back of the pack, trying to get into the lead. Larens now overtaking Suram for the lead. It's gonna be a battle over the final corner for the finish line, and it seems as though Larens will get it. Larens finishes in front of Suram, Fat Kid, Procoli, Ibo, Mini Bini, Seven, and Hunter. And it seems as though the map is over. There we go. With 45 points and 138 points tally, if my calculations are correct, Suram is going to have an 100 and 183 points to his account and thus win the seventh and final map. There he goes. GG's are out and thus Smurf Cup number 357 is won by Suram from Team Demise. You see the glimpse of the final standings at the bottom, but just after the map switch, we're going to go over the full standings with all the counts. So then, here are your final results for Smurf Cup number 357 on June 8th, 2019. So, Suram is the winner with 1,402 points, and he finishes in front of Larens, with, who's got second, with 1,333 points, and Fatki completes the podium with 1,237 points. Only these three players managed to get past the 1,000 points barrier. Fourth is Broccoli with 989 points, and fifth is Ibo with 983. Mini Bini finishes in sixth place with 971 points. A good comeback after a few after a poor showing in the last few Smurf Cups. Then Zoli the Zayon finishes in P7 with 933. Eighth is Multi with 98 with 895. Ninth is Seven with 879. And finishing in P10 is React with 755 points. P11 is MDF with 660 points. Lex finishes in P12 with 637 points, possibly his best Smurf Cup finish so far. P13 is Meister Season with 589 points. 14th is Road Captain with 526 points. Butifara finishes in P15 with 473 points. 56k Morty finishes 16th with 344 points. Fame is 17th with 314 points. 18th is Ben with 310 points, 221 points give Hunt 19th place, and the final spot is actually, in the 20 spot, is actually taken by Gemini with 146 points. Then onto the points, people that actually didn't score through all the way through the maps, as we see Trike 248 finishing 21st with 108, Shepany finishing in 22nd with 84, Hamster Minato finishing 23rd with 48, Hyling 55 having scored 29 points is classified 24th. Nixter finishes 25th having joined in the last map and scored 18 points. And Voy finishes dead last, so 26 and last with 13 points. And so, this concludes this cast. This has been Smurf Cup number 3. 57. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed some of the bet, some of the good fights that we actually had over the course of this cup. It's been a really fun cup to cast, and all I can say is 
get tuned in next Smurf Cup. So this is going to be Smurf Cup number 358 played on June 15th at 8 o'clock, top of the hour. The stream is going to start out a little bit earlier than that as usual. And yeah, this is going to be pretty exciting. The map pack again is pretty fantastic. A lot of technical challenges throughout the map pack, even though it starts really soft with Aeon Prime, it does really tend to kick in, in really hard once we get to the maps such as Drive-By Stalking and Zombax map Elevated. Anyways, hello Broccoli, uh, yeah, GG's indeed, that was a really great, um, a really great cut to see, a really great cup to watch, a really great cup to cast, and so, without further ado, I think it's time for me to close it off, so... See you next next Saturday, 15th of June, 2018, for Smurf Cup number 358 at, t at 8 o'clock, top of the hour. Maybe remember to join a little bit earlier. I will be t notifying you whenever I go live. Also, I got a few. Uh, if you want to join my Discord to be notified whenever I go live, uh, type exclamation mark Discord, and you'll be, be given an invite link that you can actually use to join my Discord server. You can also... You can also be um, using it for discussing uh, topics such as gaming, technology, motorsports, and more. And it, yeah, it's just a great place to hang around. That I just set up, um, and I'm looking forward to see you guys on there. So, anyways, I'm gonna sign off for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see y'all next time. Godspeed, people. <laughs>